All right, welcome back everybody. If you clicked on this video, then chances are you're actually planning on relocating to Florida sometime soon. So I invite you to join me in the only moving to Florida guide that you're gonna need to make this a very seamless transition for you and your family. So stay tuned, subscribe, like the video if you find value. My name is Brandon Polito, you guys already know that. All right, so let's get straight into it. There are five key things that I'm gonna be going over in this video. Number five is gonna probably be the most important of all, so make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can get that last key tip that's gonna make a world of difference in your plans to relocate. So let's get into number one. You need help. This is not a test, it's the real deal. Help me. You might be looking at me crazy. Brandon, what do you mean I need help? You do. So me personally, I've lived here for almost seven full years of my life. Now I'm originally from New York, which I know a lot of people that are gonna probably watch this video are from up north as well. And the key thing that not only me, but my family realized that we needed was help. Now the number one thing that not only me, but my family realized as well really early on is that we needed the assistance of some sort of professional. At the very least, somebody that already lived in Florida so they can give us a good explanation and breakdown as to what we were even getting ourselves into. And that's why really early on, me and my family realized that we needed the assistance of some sort of professional. Somebody who was at least familiar enough with where we were trying to move to give us a good indication as to what was gonna work best for us. Our number one worry was searching online and seeing beautiful, beautiful homes in areas that we knew nothing about. Now, of course, that's where the value of a real estate professional like myself comes into play big time because what I focus on the most besides a home is getting you to familiarize yourself and understand the ins and outs of Florida just as well as I know it. Now, trust me, I know it might sound like a stretch, but I'm telling you, it makes all the difference when it comes to you actually picking the right home for you and your family. Now, getting into number two is actually the qualification process. Now, I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you, go speak with a lender and get a pre-qualification so you know you can actually move over here. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about genuinely understanding what kind of change it's gonna bring to your life. Should you actually get up and relocate from wherever it is you are now of course knowing the ins and outs as far as job employment that the way florida may view your current employment could actually dictate the deciding factor if you're actually going to be able to purchase a home over here or not now working remotely actually completely eliminates the need for you to actually physically be here working while you're actually looking for the home of your dreams one of the biggest mistakes you can make is actually coming to florida fully ready to pull the trigger on the home of your dreams and banking on the fact that you're gonna potentially be able to get a job transfer or a new job as soon as you find the home you like. The reason for this is that it takes time for those things to actually occur. So that's why it's always good to prepare in advance. And if you can get a remote job letter, do it, trust me. Of course, understanding the ins and outs of what actual loan programs you will qualify for and what's gonna be the best one to pick for your situation comes into play, but that's where I'll stop talking and tell you, you definitely need to speak to a lender for that. But I'll make a separate video if you guys comment below and wanna break down on all the actual loan programs and the ways you can actually get qualified to purchase a home in Florida, even if you don't live here. Now, step number three is gonna be the easiest of all, is take your time. Whether you realize it or not in the moment, but all the videos that you watched actually prepared you for that faithful day of you arriving over here to Florida to actually take a tour with your two feet on the ground. Now, adding on to tip number three is allowing yourself time to actually get your finances in order. We're gonna get into it at the very last tip, which is the most important of all, like I already mentioned, but you really need time to situate your finances. That way, upon you arriving here, not only will you be able to take advantage of a good deal, good opportunity when it arises, but you're not gonna be in a situation where you're here ready to buy. Now you're worrying about the financial part and the lending part where now it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna delay your actual ability to actually even go under contract for a home. And it's just gonna be a mess. So that's why take your time, reach out to professionals in advance. You're not bound by chains to have any sort of professional help you the entire process. But I'm telling you, pick everybody's brain to get all the info and details and research that you can because it will help you. Now, tip number four is a big one as well. It's actually understanding affordability in Florida and what other additional expenses you are gonna incur should you decide to move over here. Now, I'm not trying to deter you or make you nervous. I know there's a lot of people that are moving here every single day, but that's why I'm here to really give you the clear cut info on what you need to know. Not only do you have to plan for the home purchase itself, 
but what about the cars you're going to bring over here i'm sure if you have more than one two three four vehicles you're going to have to pay for them to get shipped over here you also have to budget for furniture homeowners insurance lawn upkeep in certain communities and the most important thing is you need to understand how long it actually takes for you to actually purchase a home whether it's brand new construction or resale now with that being said we're going to get straight into number five if you're still watching the video let's get into it all right the long-awaited last tip and that's going to be understanding the home buying process to a t i know that that's probably an obvious one and i'm sure that you guys have heard it but trust me it's a completely different ball game when you're relocating from out of state and trying to purchase a home in florida because i'm telling you each state for the most part has its own way of facilitating a real estate transaction so just because you've already owned homes in new york or new jersey or up north doesn't mean that it's going to be the exact step-by-step -step process that you already are familiar with so the little caveat for step number five that i'm going to get into guys is again understanding how long it takes you don't know how many times i've received phone calls from clients telling me hey brandon i'm already in florida i'm staying in a hotel i need to buy a house now even clients that reached out to me trying to purchase a home all cash were under the assumption that they'll be able to secure a home in less than two weeks and that's not the case every single time especially when it comes to new construction which i know is extremely popular nowadays my worst fear on behalf of you guys is making sure you're not homeless not to say that you can't afford a home or anything like that but in that time that you're getting everything ready to actually close on a home where is it that you're going to stay especially if you're planning on selling your home in your state to now move over to florida where are you going to stay in the meantime of course again i'm going to mention have to that's where i come in i specialize in not only making it a seamless transition but i don't leave you homeless in between the deals that you're doing as far as closing on the current home that you own and the new one the most important thing for me is that upon your arrival in florida you already have a roof over not only your head but your family's so let's break down the home buying process for a new construction home to be built out from the ground up could take anywhere between seven and eight months now i'm a professional so i'm going to tell you guys expect and prepare for between nine and 12 months but realistically a lot of the homes that i've been selling that are brand new have been closing around the seven to eight month time frame I'm going to take a little break. I hope I didn't overwhelm you guys with all this info. I know I'm not getting so, so specific, but I'm really pointing out the things that really need to be at the top of your mind when you're actually planning on relocating. This is how I prepare my clients specifically for relocation. And then, of course, I guide them step by step, very detailed throughout the entire process until eventually they're happy with their keys in their hand and they have a place to live. I'm gonna segue a little bit and get into a little bonus tip, but you guys need to understand if you're living in Florida and you're not living downtown, you will absolutely need some sort of motor transportation because I'm telling you, if you're coming from New York, you're not gonna be taking a train over here to get where you need to go. You're not gonna be taking a public transit bus unless again, you live downtown, you absolutely need to be able to drive. That's why I want you guys to really understand commute times. From where I live specifically, Specifically over here in Claremont, Florida, it's about a 50 minute drive to get to the airport. And thankfully, Claremont is one of those areas that has direct access to a lot of highways that'll bring you where you need to go. But again, you gotta be driving if you're living in Florida. That's the biggest thing to be honest. <laughs> so with that being said, this was a quick step-by-step -step guide to prepare you and your plans of relocating. If you guys feel like I missed anything or wanna add some of your own tips in the comments below, feel free to do so. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. And if you want me to make another video getting into other topics or other steps regarding the home buying process, make sure you comment below. And if I get enough, I'll make sure I release another one really soon. Again, my name is Brandon Polito. I am a licensed realtor with the Persaud Group over in Claremont, Florida. However, I service all of Florida. So make sure you reach out to me to my contact info below. You can either give me a text, a call, or email me if you have any questions, concerns. And I look forward to helping you achieve the dreams of buying your home. Bye.